Good afternoon, guys. My name is Brooke. I'm going to talk about the LV curve and the Hakka. I'm guessing if you clicked on this video, you're very curious as to which one to use, how to use them, and then which one I do prefer. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is talk about this Hakka. This Hakka retails for about, I think, $13.99 or $14.99 on Amazon. You can get it at Target pretty much anywhere baby stuff is sold or nursing stuff is sold. It does come with a lanyard as well. It's very convenient. But I was using this for about the first five weeks of my maternity leave, and I absolutely loved it. Until last week, I met with my lactation consultant and I decided to switch over to the LV Curve and I will tell you why. I have been breastfeeding and pumping. I've been pretty much triple feeding for the last two weeks now. Very exhausting. I will get into that in another video, but I was putting this on one boob. I'll take the cap off. I was suctioning it on one boob, feeding my baby. The problem with this one is, as you can see, the baby will kick it off or can kick it off. And my baby did kick it off a lot, even if I was wearing a nursing bra or a pumping bra didn't really matter and even if I had the lanyard on he would still kick it off so it's super annoying but I still used it because they said it would help increase your milk supply I am a mama that is not an oversupplier I make just enough for my baby I have recently come to terms with that and I've done all the things to increase my milk supply supplements power pumping breastfeeding everything and <laughs> I am just not a woman who is stocking my fridge or freezer and that's okay. So if you're there with me, I feel you and I get you. It's extremely hard and difficult to swallow, but you know, it is what it is. I'm still trying to do the best for my baby. Anyway, so I would suction it, feed my baby, and then switch my baby to this breast, suction it, do the same thing. Well, I was suctioning it like this, just putting it on and suctioning it just like that. Well, I learned that if you put it on and suction just like that, you're not gonna get as much milk out as if you flip the flange over like this. Put your nipple inside the middle of it, squeeze it, release this. And then that, I guess, is supposed to pull out more milk and pretty much capture more of your breast than the other way, which I thought was really cool because I had no idea and I was trying to do a ton of research on it and figure that out. So hopefully that helps. Um, but I did stop using this because my lactation consultant said to not suction it when you're breastfeeding because you're pretty much expressing and getting out all the milk or at least most of the milk from this breast when the baby still needs to feed on that side if you're feeding on both sides, which I am. So my baby would be feeding off this breast and then instead of suctioning it like I had been doing, I would just place this in my pumping bra or my nursing bra and just let it collect the milk that dripped out from my letdown and then switch it over to this side and switch my baby so then my baby was still getting milk from both breasts and then whatever i have in my letdown i will give my baby the rest of the milk in a bottle from what i get from this since i'm not suctioning i would have to wear a pumping bra or a nursing bra every single time i use this very inconvenient just not effective and i was just getting burned out so i decided to switch to the lv curve this one does retail for $48.99 on Amazon. It is pretty expensive, but I'm telling you it's a game changer. So this one just sits inside your bra, which is the coolest thing ever. So it sits inside your bra, your baby can't kick it off. And if you don't want to wear a nursing bra, a pumping bra, you don't have to, you can do a regular bra. And the cool thing about this is um, you can suction it just like the Hakka. And so it has a little port right here. That's where your nipple goes into. And it has a little button right here. Um, it's a little indent, so you'll put it on, and if you want to suction it, put it on, put your nipple in there, press this button, and it'll suck your nipple in and pretty much create that suction. But since I'm not trying to do the suction because I want my baby to breastfeed and pull the milk out himself, I just set it in my bra, let it collect the milk, and it's great. It doesn't come off. It's amazing. And so I very much love this, especially because you can take this when you're out in public. If you are deciding to breastfeed and you are not an oversupplier and you care about collecting milk that drips from whatever breast, definitely take this with you. It's so nice. Obviously, you cannot use this in public because it's sticking out like this and it's just it'll create a mess. Um, this one just goes in your bra and it's super nice and you can use it on the go and it's amazing. So I definitely recommend this one. I love this one, but... For the purposes of what I'm doing right now and triple feeding, this one is more beneficial just to collect milk that comes out from my letdown. I will say though, if you are an oversupplier or if you're trying to increase your milk supply and you have a different plan than me, this one will get out more milk. And obviously I've heard that when you put it on, it pretty much tells your body to create more milk. That's, 
I don't know how true that is. I guess it is true, but for me, it did not. Uh, obviously, I was doing this for weeks on end, um, breastfeeding, suctioning, and clearly my body did not make more milk. So, um, but I do understand what they're saying. It's just my, I'm not an oversupplier, so it just doesn't really work for me. But you can use this one to get more milk out. I saw, obviously, like I already said, this way, if you suction it, you'll get milk out. But if you suction it this way, you'll get a ton more milk out. And then this one, I don't like as much if I'm trying to get out milk because the port is smaller and it doesn't consume as much of your breast as this one does. And so it's a little bit harder to get milk out and it doesn't pretty much empty your breast like this one would. So if you're trying to empty your breast or get more milk out because your baby's not gonna feed on that side, go with this one. Um, but I honestly recommend getting both of them because they both serve purposes. Like I said, I use this for weeks on end until I just switched to this one because I have a different plan that I came up with with my lactation consultant when I am triple feeding. And so this is the one I use. This is the one I prefer for right now, but I did prefer this one in the weeks before. So hopefully that helps you because I was very concerned and very confused on which one to use, how to use them, when to use them, and I thought this video would be super helpful on explaining that. So if you have any questions, let me know. I am gonna make a video on triple feeding because it is very tiring and kind of confusing. But if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope this video really helped you.